that's a good sink. What's happening my fellow geeks and geek heads? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to have a talk. Hey, 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 come back. So today I want to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. It's always been incubating in the back of my head. And it was because of an amazing cosplayer known as Zombies Workshop. Uh, she does amazing uh, works, armor work, stuff like that. She has a YouTube channel and Instagram channel. And she actually posted a video on her YouTube channel about this topic. So I want to give a massive shout out to her. She does amazing work. Go check her out. Go show her some love. So today we're going to be talking about cosplay burnout and how to deal with it and how I deal with it. And it is a real thing as with any type of burnout, not just cosplay, but burnout on another hobby, work, life in general. So out of all the cosplays that I've done, I'm going to be very transparent and honest. There are two that I totally burnt out from uh, during and afterwards. And there is one that I am not feeling burnt out right now but i did uh when i got to a certain portion of it and that is the witcher after i finished that Geralt armor i was exhausted i was essentially burnt out but i'm at a stage now where i'm raring to get back onto the saddle pun intended and finish this cosplay smash it out i still don't have proper feeling in the tip of my thumb that's how much it really <laughs> affected me but I'm raring to go, I'm ready to get back into it, and I'm also ready to do that boot tutorial on converting some old superhero boots into the Geralt boots. Still have to order the wig, uh, the pants, stuff like that, but after that armor, I was definitely burnt out. Now, the other two that have been completed and past cosplays that I was burnt out from during and after was Hellboy and Whiplash. So let's start with my process on how I deal with cosplay burnout. And number one, walk away. Not forever temporarily it is the most healthiest thing you can do obviously you guys saw that video last week where i did that clay pour slash clay casting of robert england to eventually do a freddy krueger sculpture that piece is actually going to act as a distraction whenever i feel burnt out from building cosplays i will have it there on standby this is something i don't want to smash out immediately in terms of getting uh, final castings out of a freddy krueger bus i just want to work on this in my spare time because it's a passion project for me and it's kind of just a thank you to kevin yeager for doing such amazing work on the makeup for robert anglin so it's something i want to take my time with and it's a perfect tool to use for cosplay burnout or just burnout in general let's have a little testy pop so let's start with whiplash that took miles and i four months just smashing this thing out and just really honing in and trying to get this thing done before oz comic con in sydney towards the end of the year and that was 2018. 2018 yeah, it was 2018. And obviously I could not have done it without Miles. I just would have been absolutely lost without him and his amazing work and his amazing contribution to that piece. And it was, it's honestly some of the best work I think I've done and Miles has done. And I remember there was a time when I went to the States for five weeks. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember, I went to LA for five weeks because I had two cons on. I was a guest at two cons and just also just wanted to be out there in amongst it just to get an idea because I eventually do want to live and work there at some point. And during that five week hiatus, Whiplash was pretty much at the halfway point. It was in raw form. It hadn't really had the bodywork done to it or been painted. It was just raw 3D pieces and still trying to figure out the bugs and stuff like that. And I remember coming back to Sydney from my five week trip, going over to Miles' place and just taking one look at it. And Miles can vouch for it. He just saw the look on my face and it was just not sadness, but just dread. Uh, because I knew the task that we had ahead of us and I wasn't in the right headspace. So I gave it a couple of days and obviously walked away from it for a couple of days and I distracted myself with other things. And even though it does stay in the same realm of the hobby of what I do, whether it be sculpting, painting, doing something that isn't affiliated with what you're burnt out on the subject at hand. It's essentially just resetting your brain and coming back to the piece you're working on or pieces uh, with a fresh pair of eyes. It's the healthiest thing you can do. And that's actually gonna make you do a much better job and smash 
your final vision out in the end. And of course we did. I think also there was a lot of anxiety because I am quite a nerve bag. I suffer from anxiety from time to time. Um, I am a massive introvert with extrovert tendencies, yet when I'm at a con, I'm in my element. There's no anxiety when I've got a cosplay on. Um, and yet when I'm in civilian clothes and sometimes I'm out and about, I, I freak out a little. I, I, I'm prone to panic attacks now and then. Something that I'm learning to deal with, but uh, yeah, it's weird. It's, it's when you're in a bat suit, a Superman suit, Geralt, Hellboy, Whiplash, there's no anxiety. The only real anxiety is when you're exhausted by the end of the day and you're like, I need a beer and probably a water. <laughs> So there was anxiety with the makeup side for Whiplash because makeup isn't my strong point. I love doing it. I love practicing it. I'm surrounded by amazing, talented friends who are experts in makeup, uh, but I really wanted to try and tackle this on my own. And there definitely was pressure, anxiety, because I wanted to live up to Miles's amazing work that he's done with the exoskeleton and have the makeup and the tattoos and the grill and all that complement the exoskeleton. And I really feel that we did. We, it was a great example of collaborative energy. And the weekend was full on. The weekend was full of anxiety, ups, downs, stuff like that. It was one of those things where we put the exoskeleton in storage because there is some stuff we still want to do to it in terms of making the spine move and putting servos in certain areas. And I would like to display it. I would like to display it on that uh, milled out foam mannequin I have of myself because I just don't want it sitting in storage given four months of back breaking, blood, sweat and tears you know, just to sit in storage under the house. It just kind of seems wrong. So we actually put it in storage and just walked away from it. And I pulled it out the other day, the exoskeleton out of storage, just made sure everything was nice, that there wasn't any moisture buildup or mold or anything like that, because you know, where it is being stored, sometimes if there's torrential rain, it can get a bit damp. And it kind of reignited my passion to really do a final display and for Miles and I to redo the whip so they light up if it is on display. So there's a prime example of what you should do with cosplay burnout and secondly hellboy i was given four weeks to do hellboy which realistically and logistically is an absolute nightmare and it's hell <laughs> i deserve that one so two weeks in the halfway mark of doing hellboy i got burnt out because i was doing so much r d on the torso piece and working with certain urethanes and stuff like that because the torso muscles the base muscles were urethane foam I was trying to figure out a proper rubber urethane to coat them with to give it the look of skin, to literally skin the thing with tinted red urethane. It was doing my head in. So I walked away for two days. And I know time was of the essence, but I had to do it. It was integral for me to walk away, focus on something else, focus on some Etsy orders, um, paint something, just or go for a run, go to the gym, hang out with my friends, be social, get that recharged. And I did for two days, came back to it, smashed the thing out, Considering I was working on the costume right up until 12 hours before I hopped on a plane and flew to Melbourne with it uh, for Supernova in Melbourne, it was well worth it. It was well worth taking those two days off. And I think the final result would have been a lot different had I not have taken those two days off and just switched off. So that's what I'm trying to put out there that walking away for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, it doesn't matter. If it's a couple of years, you do you, man. Like it's, it, if this thing means a lot to you and you want the best possible result of say armor or, or sewing, putting a bodysuit together, prop making, making a helmet, whatever, um, it is integral that you guys take time for you and walk away and do your own thing. You, like I said, you know, be social, go hang out with your friends, go have a laugh. Laughter is the best medicine after all. You, you need... Um, just something that's going to distract you and take your mind off it because let's face it, a lot of us have this OCD when it comes to cosplays or just anything in general where we just, we obsess about it, which can be a good thing. It can consume you. And that's the last thing you need is to be consumed by something that should be so fun because it can turn bad ultimately. And the last thing you want is to be jaded and bitter about something that you're working on. Take it from me, there have been projects that I've just completely and utterly abandoned because I didn't have faith in myself because I didn't walk away from it for a while and have a break. And so it's a massive lesson learned. And I think it's a big artist thing too. You have to learn to take time. And you also have to learn to let other people in and have a look from the outside with a fresh pair of eyes and suggest stuff and be 
um, open to constructive criticism. And there's a big difference between criticism and constructive criticism. Criticism is just, it's not accurate. And constructive criticism is, hey man, that looks damn good. Maybe a suggestion for next time, or maybe you want to throw it in there, X, Y, and Z. There is a difference, people. So guys, ultimately, I hope this video has helped anyone that's feeling out of sorts with uh, a cosplay that they're working on, or an art piece, a prop, sculpture, anything like that. Just remember that it's amazing that you're doing this and you have that final image in your head. But in the meantime, make sure you're looking out for you. Make sure you're looking out for your mental health. Get out there, spend time with your friends, your family, just be social, have a laugh. And then when you're ready, recharged, come back to it with a fresh pair of eyes and smash that thing out of the fucking park. So before I do wrap up, I also do get burnt out with custom collectibles and I know there is quite a drought at the moment and the stuff that I do want to uh, pimp out is so expensive it's bullshit and now that the the dollar is just horrible at the moment given what's happening right now in the world because we're all closed um, it's a bit tricky I do have a upcoming Marvel custom collectible that's going to be Marvel themed I'd love to do one of the Marvel Legends helmets again the price tag on them is just astronomical but if I am doing custom collectibles back to back, I do get very burnt out because I don't have a crew. I, I don't come in, film stuff and then just go home or, you know, just leave and have someone else edit it and stuff like that. I do this all myself. And that's where the burnout can really be amplified. When you're doing this all yourself and you have this pressure and you feel you have to have this pressure to do a weekly upload because of how the algorithm is. And it's not that I don't care about that anymore. I will just do a video when I feel the time is right and I've got that fire yearning and burning to do a video because I just don't want to put up a filler video for the sake of filler. If it's something I want to talk about, something I want to paint, something I want to sculpt or show you guys that I'm passionate about. Like today, I'm very passionate about talking about this because I feel we all get it. We all get it because we have those creative minds given that a lot of us have you know, either the ac academic side or the creative side or both. If you have both, <laughs> that's amazing, man. I envy that. I obviously just have the creative side. I am not academic at all. So I think I'm quite more emotional in that respect. And I have to learn to listen to myself and listen to my head when it's time to step back for a bit. God, that was deep. So guys, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you do get burnout from cosplay or creating from time to time, uh, what are your methods? What tools do you use to help counteract burnout. We're all individuals, we're all wired differently, and I want to see if uh, there are certain methods that people use it. Hell, even I could incorporate into my uh, burnout plan. <laughs> also, there's going to be a massive update video for the Robin suit. I managed to find a Chris O'Donnell live cast, and not just a half one, a full one. So I am so excited about that. I'm going to be fusing that live cast to that mannequin that the suit is sitting on and then I can mount the eye mask on that and then we can do a final display video. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.